And a major political event in South America will take place this weekend. Brazilian voters will go to the polls on Sunday to choose their next president, members of parliament and two-thirds of the Senate. And our resident Brazilian Annelise Borges joins me now in the studio. And Annelise, you're going to tell me about the growing giant's major weakness. What is it? That's true. Education. Education is Brazil's biggest challenge, Jessica. When Lula was sworn in in 2003, he declared uh, that he had finally earned his first diploma by becoming the president of the country. Um, when, as Brazil's least educated president, he dropped out of school uh, in the fourth grade, Lula didn't manage to give education the attention it required, unfortunately. That's maybe because uh, his political, his educational policies got off to a late start. Uh, Lula dismissed two education ministers before finally putting a program in place in 2007. That's four years after he took office. But we must say, uh, some progress has been made. Lula managed to set up some important programs to extend access to education. For example, the Bolsa Familia, program that he's very proud of, uh, under which the government pays up to $90 a month per family uh, as long as parents send their children to school. In higher education, Lula's government created ProUni, a program that provides a scholarship for some 600,000 university students, and the quota program that has helped to double the number of black and indigenous students in higher education. So at least the problem's not bums on seats, the problem is the quality of the education system. Exactly. That's exactly where the problem is. Thank you, Jessica. We should let Lula know that. Over the past decade, uh, Brazil students have scored among the lowest of any country in terms of when it comes to international tests for basic skills like reading, math, science, for example. At the International Student Assessment Test, Brazil ranked 49th out of 56 countries. 49 out of 56. That's embarrassing. Um, this means that 15-year-olds in Brazil are at about the same level as 9 or 10-year-olds in Finland or Denmark, for example. Brazil educational shortcomings leave many Brazilians on the sidelines. According to a government report, 20% of the country's 25 million possible workforce this year are underqualified. Jessica. So will that be one of Dilma Rousseff's uh, top priorities if she wins? If she wins. She dropped up four points under the last uh, Well, polls. you're monitoring that closely for us. Okay, thanks very much, Anne Lee.